Okay, so now we will solve the second set of objectives in ring theory. So the first question is uh, every ring must contain a unity and statement B is in a ring. Every element must possess an multiplicative inverse. So every ring must contain a unity. If you take an example of ring 2Z, then this ring does not contain unity. So obviously this uh, statement is a false statement. If you consider the second statement, every ring in every element must possess a multiplicative inverse in a ring. So again, this uh, statement is false because if you take the ring of integers, then the element a equal to two does not uh, possess the multiplicative inverse. So this statement is also uh, false. In this case, the answer is both the statements are false. Let us move to the next question. The next question is which of these is not a homomorphism from Z to Z. Now we know that a ring homomorphism. We are talking about which type of homomorphisms ring homomorphism. A ring homomorphism from Z to Z is uh, of the form phi of X is equal to AX where uh, this A was satisfy a property that it must be an idempotent. So we know that zero square is zero and one square is one. So we have only two homomorphisms that one of one is five X is equal to zero and one is five X is equal to X. So in this case, minus X and two X, both are the homomorphisms. Uh, both are fa functions which are not homomorphisms from Z to Z. The next question is if I consider statement is two Z and Z are isomorphic as groups. So is this statement a true statement? So if you consider a phi which is from Z to, to Z, which is given by phi of X is equal to two X, then this uh, homomorphism is a group homomorphism because phi of X plus Y will come out to be what? Phi X plus phi Y. So this is a group homomorphism and it is one, one and on two. So this means that the first statement is actually true. If you look at the second statement, 2z and z are isomorphic as rings. Now this homomorphism phi of x equal to 2x. Actually, if you cal calculate phi of xy, then it will be what 2x into 2i, which is uh, I'll write 2xy. OK, and what is phi of uh, x into phi of y? Phi of x into phi of y is equal to 2x into 2i. So these two things are not equal. So this means this will not be a ring homomorphism. And therefore, the two rings Z and 2Z are not isomorphic as rings. So the statement is false. So the option is only A is true. So the next question is a, if a square min, minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b, then what can we say about the ring? So if I calculate what is a square minus b square is equal to, let me write the right hand side. So this is given to us. If I simply uh, simplify the right hand side using the distributivity, I'll get a into a minus b plus b into a minus b. So this will become a square minus a b plus b a minus b square and then you'll have a square minus b square. So by right cancellation, left cancellation law, you will get zero is equal to minus a b plus b a, and which equivalently means that a b must be equal to how much b a. For all a b, this is uh, true. So this means that the ring R must be a commutative ring. So in this case, the third option is actually correct. If we move for the ring Z4 cross Z5, what is this isomorphic to? We know that Zm cross Zn is uh, isomorphic to Zmn if uh, if what? If M and N are relatively prime. So here 4 and 5 are relatively prime. The GCD is 1. So this means that Zf, Z4 cross Z5 will be isomorphic to Z20, so this option will become the second option will become correct. The next problem is we want to calculate the unity of the ring Z10. Unity is an element such that A into U must be equal to A. So one will serve as the unity of this ring Z10. And if you consider a homomorphism, which is from Z to Z8, which is given by phi of A equal to A modulo 8. OK, and then I want to calculate what is phi of 12. Phi of 12 will be 12 modulo 8, and we know what is 12 modulo 8. It is actually 4. So the answer is 4 bar. The next question is uh, which of the following is a unit in Z14. So we know that if I want A to be a unit, what is the meaning of unit? It has a multiplicative inverse. 
okay so we know that uh, element in zn will become multiplicative in words if it's gcd with respect to n is equal to 1 so the gcd of a and 14 must be equal to 1 so what are the elements in this list which have gcd with 14 is 1 so 2 is not the candidate 4 is not the candidate 7 is also uh, not the candidate and 9 is relatively prime with 14 so 9 will be the unit actually it's 9 bar so 9 bar will be a unit in z14 now let us move to the last question which of the following is not a unit in z12 again a and 12 is 1 if a if the gcd of a and 12 is 1 this means that a will become the unit now you clearly observe that the gcd of 5 and 12 is 1 the gcd of 7 and 12 is also 1 and the gcd of 11 and 12 is also 1 so this means that 6 will be a person which is not a unit so with this the second set of objective gets over